We're now going to take a look at the listener for the progress change seek bar. Now the seek bar is used by the user of the app to seek to a different position within the current media that's being played back. However, we also get that same event when the um, updater, which we'll look at in the next video, changes the seek bar position based on the current playback position in the media player. And we're going to be doing that, as you'll see, uh, after a period of milliseconds repeatedly throughout the playback process. Now, we only want to do the actual seek if the user initiates the event. So uh, nicely, Android provides a third argument to the on progress changed event handler method, which is a Boolean called from user. And this indicates whether the event was initiated by the user or by the program. If it was initiated by the user, we will tell the media player to seek to whatever the seek bars get progress value is, which represents a different position in the audio that's being played back at this time. Now, we're not using the on start tracking touch and on stop tracking touch methods, so we've simply overridden those as empty method definitions here. But we had to do that because, as you know, when you implement an interface, you must implement all of the methods of that interface.